This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. What to watch, what to TiVo, the eternal question. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Before we get into our main topic, a few words about the Emmys. We normally have a whole episode where we go into our nominations in detail and we make our picks, but here's the thing. We're cord cutters, so if the show is on cable, we're mostly out of the loop. Plus, there are reportedly 500 plus scripted shows on TV right now. You know... And it's weird because they talk about how reality TV is taking over, but that's really only the networks. Yes, right. So how can we make the call? And more importantly, how can actual Emmy voters make the call? It's all about which shows get enough buzz to break out of the pile. Mm -hmm. So it's clear that changes need to be made to the Emmys to keep them relevant or even make them relevant again. Yes. Some ideas? All show categories need to have 10 slots for nominations. Yes, absolutely. Why not? Best drama and comedy series categories need to be broken out, like maybe best genre genre drama, best sitcom. Mm -hmm. Um, Shows would need to pick one category. Game of Thrones can't go for best drama and best genre drama. And shows can't change categories once they pick one. Uzo Aduba is currently the only actress to win awards for comedy and drama for the same show, Orange is the New Black. And that should never happen. Which switched categories. Yes, yes. (laughs) Reality awards should get their own award show. It just clogs up the main Emmy broadcast. I also think that if you make a show and it was originally eligible for any other award, like, say, a BAFTA, it should not be eligible for an Emmy. Right. And then for actors and actresses, you should only be allowed to win two years in a row and then you're ineligible for two years Mm -hmm. to avoid the Julia Louis-Dreyfus effect. Those are our opinions. Right. But... Anyway, as summer winds down, broadcast TV networks prepare for the kabuki ceremony known as the fall TV schedule. There are only so many time slots available, and at the same time, they have to play chicken with the other networks to compete for potential ratings. As viewers, we then take a look at the resulting schedule and decide what we will watch and or record on the TiVo. Our setup can only record two shows at a time, so if we have more than that competing for our attention, we either watch it live or catch it later on streaming, or never watch it at all. So let's take a look at each night in turn and make our initial calls. And I do want to thank TV Line for their schedule grids you'll see on screen, such as Sunday. Yes. There's a major change that evening as the CW expands to a sixth night. New shows include Dancing with the Stars Juniors on ABC, God Friended Me, CBS, Rel on Fox, Charmed on CW, and The Alec Baldwin Show on ABC. And then the existing shows we watch are The Simpsons on Fox, Supergirl on CW, Family Guy on Fox, although only I watch Family Guy. Yes. So based on all that, well, what do we pick? <laughs> you know, we hardly ever watch anything live. Right. But um, we would probably record The Simpsons and Supergirl. I think so. That are on at the same time. Right. Um... Are you interested in Charmed? You know, personally, that's one I'd probably not be interested in taping. If I watch it, I'll watch it at the gym, streaming while I'm doing exercise. Gotcha. That's what I'm going to do with a lot of shows, I think. Okay. (laughs) I am interested in the Alec Baldwin show. Yeah, so I'm thinking we'll probably pick that as well. I have absolutely no interest in Dancing with the Stars Juniors. I really don't either. Yay. I'm just like, no, no. (laughs) You're stretching the brand farther than it possibly should be spread. Moving on to Monday. New shows, The Neighborhood on CBS, Happy Together on CBS, Magnum P.I. on CBS, I see a trend there, Mm -hmm. Manifest on NBC. Existing shows that we currently watch are Dancing with the Stars on ABC, Arrow on the CW, Legends of Tomorrow on CW, and Bull on CBS. Now, Bull is another one of those shows that I can just watch streaming later. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really need to be taped. Okay. Well, I do want to tape Dancing with the Stars. 
And I think I think we're continuing with the CW set, the superhero set of Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. I am kind of interested in Manifest. Okay. All right. Well, we've got we've got room for it because we certainly have no interest in the Good Doctor. Yeah. Uh, I think we can throw away uh, the Neighborhood. The only reason I would be interested in watching the Neighborhood is. The guy from New Girl. Max Greenberg. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they changed him. He wasn't originally cast in that role, right. and they changed him. And um, comparing the two clips from before him and mm -hmm. after, it does look much better with him, just in my right. opinion. But. Right. Moving on to Tuesday night. New shows, The Connors on ABC, which is not really a new show, but a renaming. The Kids Are All Right on ABC, FBI on CBS, The Rookie on ABC, and New Amsterdam on NBC. And then the existing shows that we watched that night, NCIS, CBS, The Flash, CW, Black Lightning, CW. Again, I'm not sure that we're going to pick up any of those new shows. I do have some interest in The Rookie just because it's Nathan Fillion. Mm -hmm. But what well, do you think? Uh, I'll be happy to tape that because it's... Uh, because at this point, there's nothing else at that point uh, in the uh, 10 p.m. that we're interested in. Um, yeah, the the shows that are on there, we never got into This Is Us. No. <laughs> and the other shows, not so much. FBI, I s expect that to either... That's either going to disappear in about three episodes or it's going to be out for ten years. Yeah. It's one of those two. Moving on to Wednesday night. New shows are All American on CW... Single Parents on ABC, and A Million Little Things on ABC. The existing shows that we watch on Wednesday is only Modern Family yep. on ABC. Yep, and uh, based on what we have on that schedule, uh, that may continue to be the case in terms of what I'm taping. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, we used to try to watch almost every new show, right. at least one episode. Right. I'll I'll probably if 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 there's space on the TiVo and I can fit them in I'll probably try to grab one episode and we can try it. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna have to be a lot more picky, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think. Well, you know, because there's so many things on streaming to watch. Right, exactly. So. On Thursday, the new shows are Legacies on the CW, Murphy Brown on CBS, and I Feel Bad on NBC. The existing shows we watch are Grey's Anatomy. They said, I only watch that. Mark doesn't. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes he gets sucked in yeah. when I have an episode on. <laughs> it's very soap opera -y. <laughs> Big Bang Theory on CBS. Supernatural on the CW. Young Sheldon on CBS. The Good Place on NBC. And Law & Order SVU on NBC. Okay, so now we have an, an official conflict mm -hmm. at, at, uh, at 8 p.m. We have quite the, actually quite the log jam going on here. Well, Grey's Anatomy <laughs> is really easy to watch on streaming, mm -hmm. so you don't have to take that. Or, or, okay, so Supernatural, I'm still taping that, right? Well, again, that's really easy to watch on streaming, so you don't really have to if you don't want to. Well, I think we can fit it, because okay. Big Bang Theory is at 8. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Young Sheldon and, uh, actually Young Sheldon and Good Place. So, yeah, Supernatural may also have to to fall off the... Yeah, and that would be okay. We really want to be sure to tape the CBS shows yes. if we, um, because that's a separate streaming service that we don't pay for at this point. Right. So. Yeah. Um, Murphy Brown, I want to try that. Um, the uh, and, and SVU, I'll, con I'll continue taping that, right? Yeah, you can tape it, but it's one that, again, it's good to watch when you're exercising, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't like it as much as I liked the mothership. Ah. So Friday night, new shows, Last Man Standing on Fox, <laughs> and The Cool Kids on Fox. Existing shows we watch, Speechless on ABC. Was it on Fridays before? It was not on Fridays before. Oh. Yeah, they kind of buried it on Friday. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, I have no interest in The Cool Kids. Certainly I have no interest in Last Man Standing. I do have to say there's a couple shows that I kind of wish we had watched from the beginning, like Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And if we, you know, went back and watched those somewhere from the beginning, maybe that would be something that I would watch as well. But I don't know. Okay. And then Saturday night, like the networks, we gave up on Saturdays many years before. Saturday night's all right for streaming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> essentially. Okay. So 
you can take a look at the schedule yourself and try to figure out what you're watching, assuming you're still watching broadcast TV. But as for us, <laughs> it's highly unlikely we'll ever watch anything live again. Right. <laughs> so you can check out our audio podcast anytime you want on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. <laughs>